find it. Hello, class. Let me open this. I'm going on. I'm going to go to the class at that tune. Hello, I thought I didn't have class. I'm wondering what was going on. I thought I had the wrong date, Miss Ahana. I was looking for the, uh, the the link. Oh, the link? Yeah, I was looking for it. Oh, but uh, remember, you could get to it through Zoom too, right? Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, but you had you had the email from somebody, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So how my programs was? I didn't get them. I want to show you my code. Can 
I did them. Uh huh. Two days ago, I started them. And you said you, um, in the instructions, you said use the code from uh, the, the array program. Yeah. Were you talking about the last code? Because I Right. The first, the, the number five. Right. Yeah. And I was like, that code was wrong. So. Right. That's why you have to get it what? Correct. And I was all like, that messed up the whole thing. Because I was trying to um, and put the file, but my file was wrong. And I was like, I don't know how to do this. So I just turned in my header file because- What? I, That's it? Yeah, I, my code was like so wrong. It was wrong from the integer part. Did you reach out? Yeah, I emailed you. I actually, uh, no, yeah, I emailed you. You did? Yeah, I did. Two days ago. And what I say, I I didn't. I don't, I don't recall uh, uh, emailing you back. You didn't reply back. You sure you emailed me? I am positive. And cause I don't, I don't even recall uh, yeah reaching back out to you. Let's see. Let and I see. looked up my um. I forgot what I looked up, but. I forgot what I looked up. It was saying, it was showing me a different way, but that way was harder and it really messed up my program after I tried that way and it just did not. So Highlands, Highlands, the last one I got, oh, let's just do a set. Let's just see this. Uh, no, let me, let me see what I'm, what's going on. You email me through Canvas? Yeah. Because everyone that shows these, let me, let me see. It shows that it was a re, uh, reply from whatever. And I, I don't know if I can open it. I, I just want to do a search on it. All right, let's see. Okay, I think I flagged that. No. Oh, you put Zoom session. No. That oh that's uh no, that's nine ten. That's way back at the beginning. That's the only I titled it um assigned five. Well, oh, they yeah, they got it, it got it going down. It's, I don't know why it listed it. Oh, let's see. I don't see it on my phone either. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I don't see uh, 1028. No, that's when you tried to zoom in that time uh, through that other class. I don't see it. I don't see. I was trying to show you the message. I see a Saturday delivery notification external uh or open attachment unless that might be this might be it you send an attachment no is that it i don't know if that's it i don't know what yeah because I, I i'm really not seeing exactly yeah because and because I normally, if it's about the program, I normally respond some kind of way I'd respond and say something, you know. All right. Uh, let's see who all done got in. I need to get back to my. I need to figure out where am I? Where am I? Okay. Got four people here. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Where's everybody else now? Oh, uh, email me your code. Okay. And I'm gonna pull it up. We'll we'll go through your code. Anybody else had issues with the code class? Cause you have to get the other code right in order to modify the um uh, 
the uh because what I use Mr. McDowell's code last class period, correct? And I noticed too I didn't post last class period uh uh, uh lecture too. So yeah, I was looking for that. and why y'all didn't say nothing. I thought you didn't post it on purpose. No, 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 no. Because I said I was gonna have it there, you know, for y'all to use as a reference, right? Yeah, so all you had to do is say, hey, Mr. Best, I'm still looking for whatever. Oh, okay, I forgot. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Because when I when I came to the class this morning, I saw that, wow, man, I didn't even uh, uh, submit it. But I, I think I just uh, uploaded it. So it should be there now, you know, but it wasn't there during the week. I'm uh, I'm actually severely behind in a lot of classes. <laughs> man uh, how did, what about this program here this last program yeah i i still even i still need to even start it i don't even know man. It is. i'm so, so sorry so man you, your program as an example right <laughs> yeah yeah it was me <laughs> right man. i'm the one who's been like working a lot recently right. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. we no. just yeah. now hired a bunch of people to where i can finally be even home to be able to look at work like this literally just happened like the last like few days where we got oh, yeah, yeah yeah so. and that could be worse than, than anything too because if they just learning or whatever you got to go fix up what they messed up so yeah um that's another issue but, but we gonna go over and i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up miss uh miss holland's program this time and see what we have and see how we can work through it there's nothing here huh the what? In the header file. Just the header file? Yeah. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, Marco was like, it was crazy. It's like, I don't even know what happened. But where, where's the code you said? Well, I, I'm going to pull up your code from the first, uh, uh, from program five, not five. Yeah, five. Let's see, sir. Let me share my screen real quick. All right. Now, uh, let me go to this. And we'll go to here. So let's see what you turned in. But uh, y'all need to try to understand, because like I said, it's cold, because we're going to get deeper and deeper. And if you don't understand this, it's just going to make it that much harder. Right. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Let's see some uh, grades. Let me go to grade. Uh, all right. All right. So let's see what we got. Programs right here. All right. So this is a program we should have turned in four or five. So it was program three. All right. So, oh, I don't have nothing for you for three, right? Uh, program three or four. I'm Ms. pretty Hi, sure they're both the same. At, no, well, it, it was it was piggybacking off of that. Remember, I think you wrote program three. Well, program five, I'm reading it right now. It says off of your previous program. Right. It doesn't really specify which one, I believe. But keep reading. Keep reading. Go ahead. Keep reading. Okay. Read it. Uh -uh, read it out loud. I'm going to tell you. Using the stuff. previous array program. Ah, say search. that again. The previous oh, array. Ah. But weren't they, oh, array. Not ah. the search one. Wait, no, right. hold on. Because you did one vector and one array and one vector, remember? Oh, I went off. Hmm. Remember the last two programs, hmm. one, was, one was done uh, with a search and sort with arrays, and the other one was a search and sort with vectors. Is that what the <coughs> Oh, excuse me. Uh, was that not Miss uh, Holland? Um, the six assignment was the one with the vectors. I can't hear you. Was the six assignment? I'm finished. Right. The uh, uh no no. Uh okay. Three was was arrays, right? Four was vectors, correct? Um, actually, I'm looking at it right here, and it doesn't. Let's see. Prompted. It doesn't say to specifically use vectors. Oh, it didn't? No. Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, here it is. Yeah, it's using vectors. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, five was supposed to be using three, okay? And then six, six. was using four. Uh-uh. Six was also supposed to be using three. 
Well, I wouldn't know because I didn't do it yet. Because <laughs> the array program, all right? So the array program. So so if you got the number three right, then you take three and, and do this for five to, to manipulate the arrays. Then you use three again to use it for six and manipulate the range using the the uh, dereference and then the parentheses plus uh, array plus uh, the subscript. All right. So, did you turn in anything for three, Miss Holland? Um. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Let's see. What you got. Yeah, she did turn in something. All right. I mean, I didn't turn in. Uh, All right. So look. So she did turn in something. Okay, print. Okay, calc. Uh, what is this? What is this? Prop number. What is this? Oh, reading in the number. Okay. And this is the strength. But this is not the right program, right? I told you that. Uh. Yeah, I remember you said. I right, okay. So let me bring up Mr. McDowell program again, and we're going to go through it. All over again. All right. Yeah. So you you did. How would I say it? Is this right though? You said I I set the stuff inside the program. I declared them inside the program, and the I, array, right? Like the uh the, the name the string array, right? And I right. Had let me let me see this program three program three. See program three was supposed to deal with name of a year and tuition, right? See, look, reading from the array, you're reading in the 10 records, right? You're going to read in name, year, and array. I mean, your name, year, and amount, and tuition. You read it in, you sort it. Uh, you prompt for a value of the year, and then you uh, uh, search for it and print it out if it's found. If not found, not found. All right, so let's go to Mr. McDowell's. All right, let's see something. I'll go back. Okay, so let's take a take number, uh, let's go to program three. Program three. All right, here we go, Mr. McDowell. So we take a, a assignment three. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up visual. Oh, is visual working? I think it is. Visual, I'm gonna open up homework. Okay. All right. So I open up, it should come up. Me and all these screens. So it's a little slow. Okay, so that's his program. So let me, uh, where is my source? Just the source. Well, wait a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, go to speed grade. And I'm gonna copy. It's gonna copy it in. So I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna download it. Download this program. Did it go in? All right. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this uh, CPP. This one. I'm gonna take this. Okay. X that out. Then I'll take his program. This is an actual program. Control A. Control C, Control A, Control V. All right, so this, and so I'm gonna maximize it. This is his program. So now, looking at his program, all right, he got an array, all right, a, pro, a sort array program, show array, which was it could be in print, read array, which would actually uh, read the data. And, and, and that I'm thinking in my mind, based upon how he labeled it, Search uh, uh, uh search a line or search uh, a problem against linear search. Yeah, right. It's such, uh, search linear. All right. So now these are his data uh his prototypes. 
So looking at this, you ain't programming. So looking at this, you would say, now, and I would say here with the search, I wanted you to return a value, but let's look at it. I'm not returning any values for short array or sort array, but I'm going to pass an int array. I'm going to pass a float array, and I'm going to pass a string array along with an integer value. And looking at this and knowing that I'm passing an array, the integer value could be or should be my size of the array so that I can use it in my uh, for loop or uh, use it as a counter or a subscript, you know, coming up to that value or less than that value. All right, and the same goes for show array. Same thing, all three variables, okay? They are in a, gonna be ran into an array and I'm gonna pass an int value that I'm gonna use as my control from zero to whatever that value is, all right? Read array, same thing, and search array. Now, I mean search, search line, L-I-N. Now, really in the search, I didn't really need to pass anything but my int array and the two integers because what? I only need to compare to see if I'm going, I'm going to find the right value and I need to pass the size from zero to whatever I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to and the value that I'm searching for. But like I say, it's, it's no problem. So let's look at what he did, okay? In it, he, he did his prototype. He got his header file loaded, and, and probably in his uh, header file, he got all of his uh, his library loaded. So look here. I got a header file here. All these libraries are loaded. Okay, I got vectors. Even though I'm not, not using vectors, it won't give me an error. Just going to load the library. I'll man IP, string, uh, F stream, I, uh, I stream. All right, so I got all those. And this is the header of the... Uh, function that I'm going to call, and this is what's going to print when I call the function head in the program. So looking at the program, when I call head, it's going to say, okay, I don't see head defined here, but I have a header file, header.h, that you the define, and let me look in it. Oh, I see it in there, so everything is fine, right? So that name has to match that other name. Here we have a constant integer value of for size and it's 10. We reading in 10 records. All right. So let me see if my index, how I many if I got it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have 10 records. Okay, I got name, year, tuition, name, year, tuition, name, year, tuition, name, year, tuition. All the way down, 10 records. Because if I take uh this off, like say if I just delete deleted this off and take take this out. Then what that's going to do, that's going to screw up my read. I'll be reading name, year, tuition, name, year, tuition, name, year, tuition, name, year, but then it'll try to read John as tuition, name, year, tuition, name, year. So now I'm off. And when I get to that record, I'll, my data will be all screwed up. All right? So you have to make sure that your data is, you know, properly put into your uh, input file. All right. So let's go back to the source. All right? So now we have our size of our array. Here we have a, a, a integer array called values. That's going to be in what? Uh, in a sense, our year. Okay, that's the values array. The size is 10. We have a float array called TUT, size 10. All right, it's taking on that constant value. Then we have a string array uh, called name, all right, size 10. All right, now, he got position equal to negative one, but he don't need position here. He needs position to be inside his search, all right? So what he did, uh, let's look at it. Yeah. What, he, what he did, he set it to a negative one, but in his search, he should have set it here to a negative one and then went through this. See, look, look what he did though. See, he didn't actually do the uh, the search algorithm the way it was in the book, right? Because what? In the book, at this point, when we go through this, we would return whatever that position was, 
And if that position was a two, then we printed out what back, we returned the two to the main and printed out the uh, names of two, years of two, tuitions of two. Uh, what he did, he just did it here, say, oh, I didn't find it here. No, you were supposed to return it. And if uh, if it was a negative one, then, then you would print out this information here, all right? So that's on that part. But let's go back up and let's look at what, what else he did in the program. So now, his first function he called is, called, is read in, okay? He read in val, t, t, and name. And, well, not read, he passing. He passing val, t, name, and size, okay? Now, it's very important that you keep in line what? Value, well, value. Values is of what? Int, okay? I'm passing that int array. Tuition or t is a float. Okay, I got that in the right order. Well, what to read right here? Int float, all right? Uh, name is a string array, all right? And it's in the right order. Size is just an integer because it's the, a constant value here and it's in the right order. If I were to change the order of these, I could have uh, errors in my program or I could not have errors, but I could have some kind of uh, screwed up data also, all right? So whatever order I place my arrays in, I have to make sure that my what? My call has the right uh, 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 listing also. So he's calling uh, name, uh, uh, name the, the uh, values array, which is the int array, the uh, float array, the uh, uh, string array, and the size. So let's go to that function. So it leaves the main function and it goes to the show, I'm not show array, read in functions. So now look what happens. He's, he's passing the values array into array called what? Data. He passing the to, uh, tut array into an array called data to you. And then he passed in the name array into a string array called data name. And he passed in size, which is 10, into a, a int value size. So what we're doing, data will be the, uh, being that it's an array, whatever I do to that array, when I pass it, whatever I do to it here would automatically do it to the array. So when I pass uh, values in the data, Whatever I do it to data is done to values. Whatever I do to data to you is done to to. Whatever I do to data names is done to name. So when I return back to the main function, if I input data into those arrays, the value is going to be into those arrays when I return back. Okay. So let's look what he did. He defined he, he defined this uh declared his uh object his file object f stream. And he didn't do an IF stream, all right? He did an F stream, all right? If you do an F stream, it's either or, input or output, all right? It's lazy. Just right, to... <laughs> right. So he just did F stream, right? So, but IF stream would have forced it to say, oh, okay, only, I can only read from that file. So now, then uh, he's setting up the object to know where to get that information from. So what? I'm going to pull up uh, that info. I'm opening the physical file, the actual file, input.txt. If I don't have index, index.txt, uh, I wouldn't say in that folder. Well, wherever uh, my default folder is, it will not... Uh, work the program will probably give me addresses or sometimes give me errors or whatnot all right so this file has to be looking at this in the default location because the computer is not going to c drive this folder whatever and then index it's saying okay call up index so index should be a readily available in the default location because i didn't specify a path you can specify a path though all right so now so we got the uh, object create object for object created. We know what the file name is. 
we have it up here. So that shouldn't be an issue. It should be within the environment that we're working in. So now, look at this. While not data in dot in or uh, dot EOF. So that's saying uh, while not in the file. So while I'm not at the end of file, because this is just the object, the object of the end of file for that. Okay. So while I'm not at the end of file of index.txt, continue reading. Now, this will pose a problem if I put in more than 10 records, right? Everybody understand that? Because I told it to read to the end of the file. What if I have 100 records? What will happen? Uh, what kind of error am I going to get? I don't know what kind of error you would get. OK. What's the size of my array? Um, the size of your array is 10. So if I have, I'm trying to read in 100, I'm saying read while in the file. All right. Well, it would just it would just it would just overlap the uh the previous data i guess it would like accumulate no it won't overlap but but well i see how you got it controlled you got yeah. it controlled here all right so what happens here you read in 10 then you're kicking out and then say well i'm not in the file so what happens if you have 100 it's gonna say okay i'm not in the file i'm gonna read the first 10 then I'm gonna go over here and I'm just keep going while I'm not in the file uh, 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 90 times. So I guess, oh, it's just an infinite loop or? No, it's not an infinite loop. Oh, okay. yes, it, cause see, wait, 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 wait. Yes, it will. It will only give you just the last 10. Cause what? Once I kick out of this and come back, the for loop becomes back to what? Zero. Right, so it would right. it would just overlap the previous ten, ten, ten. times, ten yeah. times, right? And you'd only get the last ten, not the first ten, because then read in the first ten, kick on out, then oh, I'm at the end of file. No, go back here, read ten more, and what? I'm starting at zero, correct? Yeah, starting at zero, putting ten in. Oh, kick out after ten. I'm at the end of file. Oh no, what? Read the next ten. Thirty. Uh, uh, 30 to 20, 30 to 39, then 40 to 49. You understand? So that that's what this will do if you have more records. So you gotta make sure you uh and so all you had to do was here, you could do while in the file, but make sure it's what 10 of them. All right. So you could have just had the for loop. You got what I'm saying? Because you know the specific number, right? But uh this it's, mm, uh, uh, it's okay for this, but just remember if you had more, then uh, it would overwrite and you might get, if, you had, if I had 11, it'll go in on and put the first 10, then it'll start back over at the first one and put the uh, the 11th one in the first position. So now your data is written and, and, and uh, you're looking at the last one being first and then the rest of them listed. So you gotta watch that. So let's let's look at it. So now we're gonna read in each one of the records. So what I told you to do was what? I wanted you to manipulate the array where you what? Right? Increment it, right? Right, for the the program six. Right, program right, right. Five, program five, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So Let's see, is that right? Yeah, beta N. Yeah, let's see, let's see something. Let's see, I right, let me do I abstract. Data and so this should work. Why is this not working? Because I should be at the first at the first uh the point I'm pointing to the first one. And then the next time I'm increment. What's it say when you hover over the? The operand doesn't match. That doesn't make sense. I know. Um, what happens if you like enter something else? And sometimes when I make 
like that shows up if i put something else in like afterwards anywhere like an if or something it like disappears like it updates or something oh i should just say try to uh, add something yeah but i don't i don't know but mm. but it's it still it shouldn't give me I, but i need to look at it. i need to let's see data in uh let's take this off Input data in. I want to read. Oh, oh, no, that's right. Data name. Data name is an array. Mm -hmm. And it's already a pointer because. Uh, Do you need to still say it's an array? Because you don't have the brackets on. Uh -uh, because I'm, I'm just bumping it up. Remember what it said okay. when you add one to it? Now, what I can do, but I didn't want to do it because it shouldn't have to. I could do something like, uh, then I go say, and it goes Have to do that. Equal data name. Because data name is a pointer. It already knows that. Why? I'm trying to figure out why. Take when your this. program's so cobbled together that changing and, one thing just ruins it all. Right, but uh, what, but uh, why? Uh, let me let me see if I uh make this object. Oh, that's why. Using namespace. It's in the header. No, but it, I think it needs to be in here too when we use the CR and CN. Uh, yeah, I never had the issue. You didn't? Let's no. Let's see. Let's see. I forgot what I took out of here. Uh, F stream. Okay. Yeah. But it still got that error. Why? Um, it's here all maybe this. try running it anyway. But it should, I don't think it's going to work. It, it, it's going to give me that error. But it should. I look like it's running. But no, 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 no. What did it say? No operator matches these operands. What did it say? Binary, no operator found, which makes the right hand operator the type. I haven't had this error before. What is that issue? Oh, info, yeah, okay. Oh, no, but it should work. What happens if you do brackets plus plus and then- Oh, and I, I know, I think I know, I think I know what, what the issue is. Cause you Ooh. got rid of the one and it went to the next. Read it. Yeah. I gotta use the app. I think I have to use the app. It's an app. But still, I shouldn't have to do it. It's just making the whole thing an error because I didn't pass by. Um... Right, but what I was I was thinking it is it, it's moving to that address. No, 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 no. Let me let's see some. Let's go back to here. Cause that should have worked. Go to 
two, four. All right, so when we were down here at uh, this, uh, you know, right here, okay, what's here? Let's see how uh, we're reading in the data. Well, that's already in now. That's already there. Okay, here we go. See here for whatever. Oh yeah. I could see out, but I can I can move to the different positions by using this. Uh no 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 by plus plus. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. No. Do you need to add the pointer? The asterisk? No, I, but st still, if I do the asterisk, yeah, the asterisk dereferences it. No, it fixed it. It de it de Oh, why? Let's see. Because it's pulling in the value. The name is the address, and then it bumps up. Let's 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 see something. Be bothered. And I don't know if it, uh, what, what, it, what output I get. All right, yeah. So look what happened. I tried to read in what? An address. And I'm reading in what? The actual value. To yeah. reference the actual value, I need the, to dereference it. And then what? Every time I'm bumping it up one, bumping it up one. So each time it what? It's going to move to the next one. So you could have done it this way. Or read it in, then do a plus plus on each one of them, read the next one, plus plus, read the next one. But this is doing it all what? On the same line, right? So it just uh uh reading it all. So I could have done it this way, you know, but and still it just more it just a couple of more statements. And then I could have did uh uh So I, I could have done it that way. And so you see, I've taken it off here. Every time I read, reading the first one, incrementing, or changing, read the next one, read the next one, and read the next one. So let's debug it. And it should give me the exact same results. See what I'm saying? So, and then this, this was how I wanted you to manipulate it using the plus plus, right? But then, like I say, we had to put the dereference here uh, because what? The, uh, this reading in what? The actual value, right? I'm reading in the actual value, not the address. Just the name by itself is reading in the address. Right. 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 Okay. So, so that part, you're supposed to do it there. And let's look at the output. Well, let's. Let's look at the output. Where is the show arrays above it? Okay. All right. So the same thing the show array. So now when I output it, I need to output it with the uh plus plus. All right. Plus plus. And see here again. This Let's do it like this first to see. And let me uh, let me do something like this. Um, So now, let's run this. So uh, this, uh, you need to get rid of those uh, 
two streams in the middle. Oh, yeah, right here. All right. So now let's run this. Uh, and uh, let's go to that thing. We uh, and I think it's going to give me the address. I'm going to still have to uh, derail. See, see what I'm saying? It gave me what? The address, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It gave the address. So uh, dereference it or do it the other way with the long way. You, you do the uh, dereference and then the plus plus after that. I'm lazy, so I, I would do it this way. Do it this way, right. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. So debug it, and now we should get the exact same answers like we had before. You see what I'm saying? So, so you see, it, it incremented by using uh, the plus plus operator rather than what? A subscript, correct? So that's all I wanted to show you. And that's how I wanted you to write the program. That's all. You know, so that you can see that you can, what, manipulate arrays using what? Using the op these operators. Now, so that that's what you have to do for the... Uh, input and output, right? This one is sorted, but then you had to do your sort array. Now that was bonus. Now let's look at the uh, sort array. We're gonna exit this up. So what I told you to do is, all right. Sort was a bonus. Yeah. It's like, oh. if you did, if you use the, uh, the uh, operators to uh, manipulate the uh, array, like say, see in here, you got a uh, data name uh, position. Mm -hmm. If you use the plus plus operator to, to, to manipulate it, uh, you the, got the, bonus. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, but I and then for this one and for this same thing here, see right here too. Mm -hmm. So you got uh, data, whatever, you know, that this will be uh, what count is data plus plus or, or whatever it's doing, right? Yeah, that does seem a little bit more complicated. Right. So that was bonus. So it's a see, see, can you do it? So let's look at this code here, though. Let me pull up uh, what it was. Uh, this. All right. I'm going to go back. No, no, it's in here. So let's look at, uh, I'd have to go back again, though, to eight. All right. So. And I told you to use this code. So if you all you had to do was if I can move it, take this code, right? And uh just the search. Like say, look at the bottom one at the search. So use the search code. You got your header file, all right? Where is it here? You got your header file, but look, in they returning the value. You see what I'm saying here? So you was gonna return position. It didn't have to be position. It could have been another variable, but at least you know uh, you're gonna set it to a negative one, right? And you and if uh, it found the index value where you found it was assigned to position, and you're returning that position back. If it wasn't found, it was gonna return what was assigned originally, originally, which is the negative one, which means that what the record is not found. Okay, so. Uh, here you got index zero. Now you got found equal false, but you took the uh, position part and you put it into the main. Remember you had it at mm -hmm. the beginning, so you should have kept it in here. All right. So well, I now did, I did that. I think uh, because I was really tired, it, and, and then did, uh, it, <laughs> and then I wanted to practice pra uh, passing. Oh yeah, and then, <laughs> and then here you did it, you didn't not set this to int, so it wasn't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So, so I probably work. did the void thing and I was like, what the heck is this about? And so I right. like, and you said, well, I'm going to get it to work. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Right. And you got all this. Hey, yeah, set. Except for what? Well, you got position in here. But what you did, you made position global. You understand what I'm saying? Which can be tricky. Look, and what I mean by global, watch. You made position. I made it in the main. Oh, and you passed it. Yeah, that's why I said I was practicing pa passing. Uh, I was yeah, good pay, at yeah, it. But you don't want to pass this one. Mm -hmm. Well, you can't pass it. I figured but it was want, something that could be used multiple times in a large. But you want to. But anyway. you want right, and but you want to return it. 
Because see what you can do you here. Can still return it though, I thought. Right. You, yeah, you do an int. You do an int here. And what you would do on on your um on your search, you would say something like, you'd have to make this int. And then you would have to um on your uh search here, you would have to say, like say int. Uh, POS is equal to. So that's going to be the position that's returned. Now, in here, okay, we'll take this off. I'm going to comment this off. I forgot to tell you. All right. And then I would say return position. All right. So now it's returning position. Whatever position is equal to, right? So whatever the not found is, we're gonna have a value for position. Position gonna be whatever what was sent in, correct? What was it? Yeah, you kept it as position. All right, and then we can ask the question. Where, where, where? Um, here, we could say. Uh, Because my, my point is, let me see something. Where are you printing out? Oh, you print it out here. So I'm, I'm going to take this out, right? So you, you kind of modified it, but I, I didn't want you to modify it this way. So I'm going to take this out. Really, I could copy this. Copy this. Reading is difficult. Right. Well, yeah. And like I said, when you're tired, you're trying to just get it done. So watch. Watch what I do here. When I, when I return here, now I could ask if what POS, right? Because that's what the value is passed back into. If P, uh, POS is equal to zero, I mean, not zero, equal to negative one. Well, I could have said less than zero, however, whatever. So anything, negative one is less than zero and all equal to, I could say equal negative one. So if it's less than zero, then I want to output, okay, and I'll do C out. Record not found, correct? Oh, uh, do slash. Okay, so else. You need your end uh, quotation. Oh. Yeah, double quotes, all right. All right, so now, else, what? Then I'm going to do what? I'll put that the state. C out, yeah. All right, I'm going to paste it. Right? I have you know, I'm so proud of my program. You, <laughs> you'll have to rename the uh, stuff right. as well, though, because... So now, but look at this. I got an error on this. I copied it from what? The search, right? Mm-hmm. So what's name? What's the name? Uh, 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 array. It's just name. All right, it's just name. But look at this though. Now this is where you might come run into a problem. You'll have to rename the array, uh, the bracket part as well. To right, rename. because you made it, you know, uh, uh, local to this particular uh, uh, module. You got what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. So your, your program is not as tight as it could be. Because they can say you can put position in there and say, oh, position work, so I'm going to use position, right? Mm -hmm. And it'd be a negative one, which would be outside the bound, then you get garbage. Okay. So that, yeah, you understand? So, yeah, so here, this one would be what? Uh, data T, not T, U, on the values, right? Yeah, and then uh, data two would be uh, just cut T, U, T. Right. And then uh this one, oh yeah, T U T. It's going off. All right, and this position. So that let's run it now. And it should run. All right. So now this ran, this ran with the plus plus. Then what? We started the data, but then we outputted the data. Now, the thing was, I think you had two different outputs, right? No, 
me? Yeah, yeah, look. Show a ray, show a ray. Correct? Yeah, it was to show the first one and then, Okay, but you uh, use the same again. use the same function. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And that's that's what I wanted. What some people would do is they'll create another uh function and it's exactly like the first one. Uh -uh, what, I'm lazy. What, I I <laughs> Right. And but what they would do is in the first one, they'll add this one statement inside it so they can't use it again. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When they add unsorted values or inside the function, then you can't use it. But if you write it out before you what? Call the function, then you can call that function, write out this label before you call the function, then write the function. You're using the same function and getting the, getting the output. You got me? Yeah. So now let's put a value in. So let's say we put in 1920, all right? All right, it found that record, right? So it came back with a position of what? Zero, one, two. So it came back with position POS equal in the two, all right? So whenever this, this function returns, it returns back to that function and it puts it in, in POS. POS is equal to two. So if POS is less than zero, no, it's not. I'm going to output name sub two, value sub two, uh, and, and touch sub two, all right? So let's look at it again. So that, that was the end of the program. So let's go back. And now we run the program again, and we're going to put something that does not match. So say we put in 18 or 1991, all right? And we hit enter. See? Mm. Record not found. Mm -hmm. So you see? So that just makes it a little, you know, tighter. All right? Now, uh, any questions about this one? And all you had to do, oh, I don't want to close that. All you had to do for the other one is go back and what? Where well, you had your information here, you would do what? Where, where are we? In the show array. All right. In show array, I would do something like this. Plus, what my, what's my uh, index value? Uh, one. Uh, uh the uh the variable. What's the I'm variable not... that that manipulating that loop? Oh, count. Count. So what? Uh, when count is zero, it's just like saying the address plus zero times zero. You got me. Oh. Remember we talked about that. Like, if we go back to the notes. When we talked about that, it, oh, not these notes. Uh, it's uh, pointless, pointless, pointless. So if I go back to the notes. Where is it? I'm getting to. Like, here, see? Numbers, uh, the numbers dereference, all right, plus one is actually numbers plus one times two because two is the byte size. But if it's zero, it uh, the number, the address plus uh, zero times two gonna be at the zero position. That's the first uh, first position. Remember, we talked about that. So look at this program. See here when I did see out number sub. X, where X is zero the first time, dereference, I'll get that value. Let me move this over. So see here, I got, uh, and as when number, when X became one, well, no, here, when X became one, then what? Numbers plus one times whatever the, the number of bytes, and it goes to that address, get that particular address. So that's what I wanted you to do, to do for this program. All right, so we change this, but then we have to change what? Change this also. So here we would do what? Uh, we could do it. Uh, do we do it here? No, we can do it all at one here. So we'll do uh, this, all right? Right? Plus what? What we'll do? Plus what? Uh, plus R. Plus R. If I can tell you. Plus R, right? And then this one. Uh, data plus plus R type 
plus R, and this data tuition plus R. Right. So now, but if I do that, I need to take this off, right? Right. Well, I'll, what I'll do, I'll come in. Uh, but yeah, you have to take them off because you, you're doubling the size then. So now, when I run it, I should get the exact same results. Well, in a sense, depending on how I run it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Exact same program. All you had to do was manipulate it to do whatever. Oh, by the way, there's someone in the chat. Zoom chat, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm in the wrong place. What they need? Um, one is for rescheduling assignments and tests, and then one is for a password uh, for the role, which I don't know. If oh, yeah, no, nah, don't sign the role. Just put your name in the chat, because my role, I'm going to work on that after the semester, because that's just, I'm, I'm going to have to deal with that after the semester. Let me see. Let me find my. Oh, let me see my chat. Okay. So let's look at the chat and see what people what's what's legit or not. Okay. The assignment. The assignment. The assignment. Are y'all doing my assignments? Should I give y'all more time to redo these assignments? Hello. Uh, I need to do those quizzes apparently because i did miss the quizzes in both your linux and this but you said you were probably going to open them up at the yeah end. i know I'm, at so, the end of the semester i'll open it up yeah, yeah yeah i did miss the test too which oof i didn't even on, realize yeah on this one yeah, yeah I and i, know, I, I, I give the makeup the i give makeup for the test and the quiz the last last like the last week of school you know i i do that uh but i like I said in the class we'll see i could open it i'll open it up but do y'all need me to open up this assignment again? Yes, sir. Y'all understand what's going on with the assignment? The biggest thing with the assignment is, uh, if we look at it, first of all, you need to know how to what? Read in the data and write out the data, right? Because remember I told you at the beginning of, some, at the beginning of the uh, class, semester, learn that part. Reading it in, writing it out. Reading it in, writing it out. Once you get that down, and, and like some people, they didn't. I said, do you ask? Well, do we get points? I said, bonus. You do it if you want to or not. But it would help you as you continue in the in the uh, class. So this program, read or really the previous one, reading the data, writing out the data. You can get that part done. Now you're just working on what. Okay, I'm reading the data. Now I need to fix my logic to search and sort. Correct? And you're not running into issues reading in data. Running in the issue, oh, my data not really coming out right. Oh, my data not printing right. Because what? You don't you don't cross those hurdles. All you're dealing with the meat. You know, you're dealing with the meat of the program. The actual logic to, to do what it is you want to do with that data. All right? So like I say. Learn that input. Learn how to input that data. Learn the file, file, uh, 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 in file, input file, output file, whatever. Learn that. Understand uh, where the location should be. Understand, hey, what need to go in what column? How many uh, uh, elements in the record? Know that. And like I say, once you get all that down pat, all you're dealing with is just the logic of what it is you need to do. And you're not worried about, oh, man, my program look like it's doing this. I don't know what's going on. You change something, then it affects uh, the other uh, modules, and then you don't know where to start. All right? So what I'll do, I'll open these up again for a day or two, all right? And hopefully you can get them done. Because I, to, I want you to get it done. I want you to succeed. But I don't want you to play around and play around and play around and not do it or not learn, all right? It's different if you're learning, but if, you, if I'm giving you opportunities to do the work and you're still not learning, it's not helping you, right? And just not it's not helping you. So what I'll do, let me let me go uh, to uh, and what Mister uh, what that was? If I can get back here, uh, 
Talking about me, Mr. McDowell? No, it's it. Okay, somebody said what? Oh, the road. Don't worry about the road. Just sign your name in here. Was it Johnson said something about a test? I mean, who was that? Adrian Johnson. Yeah. Adriana Johnson, my fault. Okay. Uh, so, mm, I'm going to just open the test for today, but we're going to still do the makeup whenever. But I'll open the test up for today. But everybody, I want you to understand this. I need you to understand uh, passing these values, uh, what's happening, uh, calling these functions, you know, what's happening. All right, the logic here, and like I say, the logic comes really straight from the book, you know what I'm saying? But you're going to have to know what you're passing down, passing in those functions, and what's going on. You have to pass all three here because what? I have to do swaps. And if you notice, here's why he do this. When he find that uh, one value is greater than another and he, and he need to swap the, the, uh, the date or the data, which was the integer variable, he had to swap the, the float variable and he had to swap the name variable at the same time because, so that all the data could stay aligned. If he didn't do these two, and watch, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to run the program. Or oh, the program is ran. So we see that what? Lewis, born in 1920, 20, 28 tuition. When we sorted the data, Lewis, 1920, 28, 28. If we would have, and I'll do a slash asterisk. Asterisk slash. So really what we're doing, we're finding where we need to swap but we're not, we're not swapping the name or the uh, tuition. Watch what happens to this program. So uh, I'm, I should copy this so you can see, because I can't keep it here. This is, uh, I'll do that. I mean, you should be able to tell the difference because of okay. the unsorted values. Right, because I, I want you to see. I want you to just see the difference, so I'll close it. And let me run it, all right? So I'll run it. So now, let's look at it. Let's look. And when I told you Lewis, now look, this is unsorted. Lewis, 1920, 28, 28, okay? But then look, Lewis, what happened? 1845, 28, 28. This happened to be the same because it what, wasn't sorted. Lewis happened to be in the second list because it wasn't sorted. But what happened to all the numbers? These are the only things that were sorted. So really, Lewis should have been where? At 2020, should have been down here. Correct? Well, no, 1920. Should have been uh, the third record. And uh, 2828 should have been the third record. So everybody understand, this coming out exact, identical to this, this coming out identical to this, but the years are changes, all right? Just take, for instance, your name was Lewis, all right? And uh, you enrolled in school, and this was your tuition. Then the, the college ran a sort to actually sort the data, whatever, by, the, by this value here, the year or whatever. And then all of a sudden, oh, well, not Lewis. Let's not take Lewis. Let's take uh, John, all right? Not John. Uh, let me try to find one. Well, they all could be, the value is going to be the same. It's just the year will be different. See, if I if I'd have did it on tuition, it, it would have been more realistic. But what I'm saying is, uh, okay, say the years, and this was the year you were born in. But really, the, 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 the amount probably would be more, more catch your eye more because if you had to pay twenty eight twenty eight for your tuition, and all of a sudden you're paying three thousand and eight dollars and twenty eight cents, you that would be an eye catcher. But let's say we got Brad. Brad here was born in twenty twenty one, but then we, we go down here, it's showing Brad being born in nineteen eighty three. So which is what incorrect. So that's what that's the purpose of what making sure when I swap one uh, item, I'm, I'm swapping all of the different elements in the array, and that's parallel array processing, right? Making sure what I do to one array, I have to do 
the same thing to the other. All right? Okay. So let me oh let me go here. I got out. Okay, let's see. If it let me, yeah, I don't want to go here. All right, so um, okay, my mom. Okay, so the assignments. So everybody gonna be able to turn my assignment in by uh, what today is Thursday, Friday night, twelve o'clock. Sure. Hello, input. I um, I just realized that I have to redo my program four because it does not use uh, uh, vectors. It uses arrays, and I was like, I wonder why I got so many points off. Now I know. <laughs> so I have to rewrite that. But yeah, right, 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 right. Well, no, you don't have to rewrite it. Well. Oh yeah, you no. You, oh no, no, no. Yeah, six uses three. Six. Well, I might have right. to later. I don't right, know. If right, right. Five and six use three. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So yeah, I should be good. Right. Yeah. So now nah, test test three is the test that y'all y'all doing right? Oh, I I had missed two tests. So oh, okay. the quizzes and two tests I missed. Okay. Let it go. All right. So, all right. So this is the test. I'll make the test. Today the fifth. Okay. I'll make the test due by Saturday. All right. Give you enough time to uh, schedule it out. All right. Okay, and like I said, next class period, we're gonna move on to uh to strings and strings. They're gonna be so so, but it's gonna be a little a little difficult because you're gonna be dealing with arrays, dealing with string functions. All right, and then what I'll do, I'll go in on and open up uh uh five and six the pro the, the documents and the a program so that you can do um. Uh, Somebody might be sending me emails or something. I, I miss, let me see something. I don't know. Well, you got a thousand of them. Yeah, I know. I don't. You, you saw what in my uh my Gmail? I don't be reading that, man. <laughs> Call, hey, I do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Miss Hollins, at at ten thirty, at ten twenty seven. Oh, connection issues. Okay, got that email. So that's the only one I got through from my, all right. So yeah, and them emails, man, it's like you email me, I look at it. If it doesn't, if the if the uh, subject don't catch me, and when I say catch me, if it's class and you say, oh, Mr. Vesta, you know, uh, help with my program or something else, then I'll, I'll whatever. Mr. Vesta, I won't make it to class. Mm, I'm not worried about that. You know, I won't even read it. Uh, who else sent me something? Uh, be so sorry. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, what else? All right. So, uh, I don't want to look at this. I want to look at the uh, this. So next class period class, uh, we gonna get to strings. All right. I'm deal, talk, dealing with strings. We talk about strings, how they work, character. We're gonna look at some functions. Uh, we're gonna have some programs. We're gonna kind of go through and look at, and we're gonna look at how you can manipulate uh, string functions uh, in a file that needed, you know, to use to manipulate them and whatnot. And like I say, then I'll give you a program. So our next class period, we're gonna go over this, you know, string copying, concatenating uh, strings, and all that. You'll go over that uh, next class period, right? And you'll have a program that you're gonna have to write to manipulate a string or some string uh, data, all right? All right. So I'll see y'all on next class period. I'm gonna open up the assignments, work on the assignment. I'm gonna try, make sure if I don't post it, 
uh, send me an email, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to wait because it's only take uh, sometimes ten minutes for the to, for it to generate the video, and I've been gotten up from my computer, and I've been sometimes I forget. But uh, I'll try to wait till I get the email for the uh, for the uh, for the class video, and then I'll, I'll I'll post that too. All right. All right. So yeah, all right, y'all have a good one. You too. All right, later. Anybody with questions? All right. See y'all on next class, yeah.